A New York court ruled Tuesday. Boy, I, I have to tell you, if uh, if I were in New York or I were in Washington, D.C., or any of these blue states, I'd be thinking, I should probably leave here because I don't think I can get a fair trial. Hmm. New York court ruled Tuesday that former President Donald Trump had committed fraud for years to build his fortune. New York judge Arthur Engeron ruled in a civil case brought by New York Attorney General James. Now, this the one was like, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him and his little dog, too. So that's what she ran on. That's what she ran on. Mm-hmm. Uh, not the little dog as well, but she did run on. I'm going to get him. She did not specify the size of the dog. That's true. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. So the, the um, court system and the, the DA decided not to prosecute. Okay. They, they, they decided. Alvin Bragg. Yeah. Alvin Bragg. They decided not to prosecute police and the uh, central, the uh, Southern District of New York, FBI. Nobody took this on because they didn't think there was anything there. So she decides to go through civil court to take him on. So now she found a judge that will say that, that he engaged in fraud. Now, do I think that Donald Trump inflated numbers of his wealth? <laughs> yes. Yes, really? I do. Yes, I do. Right, now, what evidence do you have? Well, everything. Okay. Uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> now, uh, it's totally fine to do that publicly. I mean, well, totally fine is not the right yeah. term. Yeah, it is not illegal Correct. to say that you have $10 billion when you have $2 billion or Correct. whatever. I'm not saying that's what he did, but uh, you can say that. right? right. You could say you're the wealthiest person in the world when you are not publicly at a press conference and there's no crime being right. committed. But I will tell you. I mean if you're if you're misstating things intentionally, that is called fraud and mm-hmm. uh, especially when you do it on documents correct. over and over and over now, again to I, banks and insurance companies. I don't know about you, but I've never lied on my banking statements when I'm going to get a loan because they generally check those things out. I'm I would be terrified to do so. <laughs> right. Um, right. Now, when you have the reputation, and, and again, I don't know if this was Trump specifically. This is about his organization. Sure. Right? So sure. some, it could be one of his other executives doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it does seem like it was done often. And when you're Donald Trump and you have the reputation of being Donald Trump, being very wealthy, everything's the most grandiose thing in the world. You know, there's probably They're gonna not take- as... They're going to questioning, take, right? Really? They're going to take, they're going to give you a $250 million loan and not check it out. I mean, I think they're, I mean, are they going to check out the square footage of his apartment? I don't know. Probably not. Right. So, so the judge said yesterday that Marlago, he overstated the price. It's just a tad. Just a tad. He said it's worth $18 million. No, uh, I think it was the other way around. He said it was worth more. For this particular reason. no 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 the judge mm-hmm. said that it was only worth eighteen oh, million okay I see what you're saying yeah I thought it was he I thought you meant Trump okay. yeah no Trump said it was worth I don't it's even 700 know seven hundred million I think yeah yeah and you know he did put probably a hundred million dollars into that place mm-hmm. and it is also uh, a a legacy property I mean it's not going for eighteen million dollars now yeah like I mean if I'm going to say what. They neither one may be correct, but if correct. I was going to say which one is closer to its actual value, I would say seven hundred million dollars. I would too. I mean, I. I mean, are, it could be worth two hundred, three hundred, five hundred million. It's not worth twenty-five million or right. There's, seven million. It's no, just no. There's no way. There's no way. I mean, no. it's how many square feet is it? Uh, I don't even know. It is. It. It is the this entire like peninsula that goes out of this land bridge that goes out. In West Palm, I don't know if you can get an apartment for eighteen million dollars right on the water, both sides. Right, like a normal four thousand square foot house, which I would assume is pretty small, right? Yeah, I'm not uh, for uh, for West Palm Beach, but probably like the average McMansion in Florida. I mean, maybe yeah, it's four thousand, maybe. maybe. Uh, you know, I'm just guesstimating here, but I mean, a, a four thousand square foot house in in West Palm Beach has already got to be. Four million, five million dollars. Go to realtor.com. There you go. Find out. By the way, uh, 126 rooms, 62,500 square feet for Mar a Lago. And it's an operating business. Okay, Okay. 62,000 square feet. Okay, 
with both sides on the ocean and golf okay. courses, right? Like, Go, yeah, and it's it's uh, it's got a banquet room. Man, it is. Uh, I mean, it's it, crazy. I mean, well, could you convince me it's only worth three hundred million? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but like, it's not Stu, worth. It's not worth eighteen. This is a fifth. 50 year old movie studio okay 50 year old movie studio Mm -hmm. not i mean it is a historic site in texas now but it's not like mar-a-lago no and you mean the one we're sitting in right the one we're sitting Mm -hmm. in right now it's maybe worth 15 million dollars okay 15 million dollars you're telling me i could have had (laughs) mar-a-lago i think i would have taken mar-a-lago <laughs> Did they really say eighteen million dollars is 18, the right number? That's what the judge said. Eighteen million dollars. I mean, that's completely absurd. What year were they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> when it was 18, built, maybe. Yeah, in nineteen forty-five, maybe it was worth eighteen million dollars. I mean, it's crazy. That is really le- legitimately nuts. But I mean, you know, West Palm Beach is uh, you know one of the most expensive areas in the entire country. Uh, you know, it is. Uh, it's, you know, obviously, like, this is a place where super wealthy people run away from other wealthy people. <laughs> like, when they're annoyed with low-class wealthy people, they right. go to West Palm Beach. So let me just go to uh, any price listing uh, status. Where can I get uh, rooms? I mean, I can get uh, from high to low. It doesn't really do that that's that's ridiculous i love that low. we're now in glenn's head as he's attempting tech uh tasks thank you this thank is you. this is how it works like i'm gonna put a minimum of five million in. okay okay so five Fair. million dollars is the min is the minimum i want to see okay so let's uh all right so i have a three bedroom three and a half bath for 7.8 million Mm-hmm. That's a condo overlooking. Yeah. Okay. I have another condo for six point one. Is it, they have square footage listed or no? Uh, yeah, two thousand square feet. Two thousand square feet. Yeah. And how many millions of dollars? Uh, six point one. But you could get Mar-a-Lago for only right. three times the cost. Right. I wow. have a one a a one acre lot. Okay. Uh, it does. It has. It shows a picture of a house, but. I have a feeling the house is so horrible mm-hmm. that they you know, you know how they do that they're like, look at this. And they're selling it as a lot, not a yeah, house. Not a house. 8.4. A 1 acre lot. How many wow. acres is Mar-a-Lago? Uh, that's a good question. Um, a lot. It was 1980. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Acre. Um we're looking here. What's this? Uh, 17 acre estate. Uh, that's the federal foundation aviation. Yeah, it's hard to. It looks like 17 acres, but there's okay. a, currently a two. Okay. There's a 2.32 acre plot which has nothing on it. This is grass. It currently listed uh, uh, for 200 million dollars. It is a okay. It is a <laughs> it is a very nice plot of land. Right. However. Uh, uh, you know, you wouldn't think that just land would be $200 million. <laughs> no, they haven't sold this yet. It could be one of those eBay things sure. where it has not sold. Well, uh, here I have a five-bedroom, five-and-a-half bath, 5,000 uh, square feet, okay, so a and nice, half an acre. Okay, so like a, uh, this is what you might throw at, out as a McMansion, right? A yeah. big, a very nice big house, mm-hmm. uh, not a ton of land, right? Mm-hmm. Usually a half an acre. Half an acre. So half the house fits, but barely. Uh huh. Right? Yes. How much are they asking for that? Uh, 11.9. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm this just, is, I'm, this I'm, is an expensive area. I'm just saying. Uh, there's a condo here for 5,000 square feet, four bedroom, four and a half bath, no land, uh, 8.4. Uh, there is a condo, six bedroom condo, six bedroom, seven and a half bath, nine thousand two hundred and thirty two square feet, and that's thirty nine million. I mean, come on. Now he the claim is that the Palm Beach County Assessor had appraised Mar-a-Lago's market value between eighteen point eighteen million and twenty seven point six million. Now. 
I don't, I mean, like the assessors a lot of times have strange values on homes, right? Have you ever noticed that? Like when you're looking oh, yeah. at, like, again, you don't, you're not doing this yourself. You're looking at someone else assessing your home and it, it doesn't always align with what Zillow says, right? Um, so that wouldn't necessarily be fraud. I mean, I, you have to believe it's much, much closer. I mean, $426.5 million for Mar-a-Lago, which was their low, was the low end value that Trump had put it at. Is reasonable. Seems about reasonable. Reasonable. I, 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 again, I don't, I've never bought anything in the nine figures. Not even one single purchase. In my life, I've never made a nine figure purchase. But I would assume. <laughs> really? That, like, I make them all the time. Yeah, you might make them all the time. No, I'm, just try, I don't. Look, I'm just trying to. to I'm trying to relate. No. You got to understand. To the, I'm just saying to the audience, you got to understand. Yeah. To I'm trying to get Glenn to understand that not everyone makes nine figure purchases. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, a nine figure purchase. Look, the difference between 100 and 400 million, I think, for the average person might be difficult to. Uh, I don't. I, how would you even figure that out, like without going to some expert? But I gotta believe, just 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 back of the envelope, 400 million dollars seems pretty reasonable for Mar-a-Lago. I mean, it's probably around where it is. Like, it couldn't possibly be 18 million. That's that is asinine. bonkers. It's asinine. And anyone who knows anything about real estate would say that. Yet everybody in the media. I have heard talk about the story has quoted the overstatement of twenty three hundred percent from from uh, from Letitia James, which is it's bonkers. So anyway, they are uh, breaking his companies up now. the The court has uh, taken control and is uh, assigning people to take over the country, uh, the company, and break it apart. And uh, I don't know. Sell the assets off. I, I guess that's what you do. Uh, if anybody is in the in the market for a really huge, really huge house that also has uh, beachfront property on both sides of it, uh, you might be able to get a deal well, soon. This is a New York based ruling, though, right? So this what's what's in danger here are his New York properties. Which is the golf course in Westchester, Trump Tower, uh, what is it, 40 it's Wall Street? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Uh, I mean, they were really going after all of it and trying to get him to to force his control to be gone. So, I mean, Eric is the one who runs the company so, right now, and he would be out. This is why we have uh, always, always done well in America, because you could count on the law to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Nobody in, in my lifetime. I never heard, uh, you know, stories day after day where I went, wow, never heard that done before. Never. And that's why people invested in America. That's why companies were built here in America, because somebody just couldn't take it away from you. Yeah, yeah. that's why you don't want to do business in Venezuela. Exactly right. right. They can just take it away. Mm -hmm. They can accuse you of something and just take it away. Uh, and uh, and the law did not really matter. The law was just uh, a player in somebody's curio cabinet. Uh, and that's exactly what's happening now in America. You want to destroy some somebody? No, you can destroy them. Destroy their whole life. It's It's really sick. 